Hello, Katy. Welcome to this Hello. little challenge. Thank you for accepting. My pleasure. Thank you. Ready for Thank this you event? For the invitation. Ready for the 73 questions? Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so, why the violin? It, it's my inspiration. My mother used to play the violin when she, when she was young. Um, and then I came in the world, into the world. Uh, she, she took me to the church and I saw the, vi the violin players. And I told mom I want to learn the violin. And it started from there. Wow. How long have you been playing? Since I was five years old. Wow. Long time ago. <laughs> Best crowd you have ever played for? When I played with the Airport Impressions in Halasha Music Festival, it was amazing. When you saw, even when I speak, I have my goosebumps. Um, when I saw the crowd jumping, having fun, it was such an inspiration for me. Wow. How many birthdays have you celebrated so far? Ah, I have to tell you my age then. <laughs> 35. <laughs> <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you own? Actually, I lost count because <laughs> I love shoes. <laughs> Um, is being a musician your full-time career? It was full-time when I used to play with the National Orchestra, but now it's part I'm a part-time violinist. If you were offered a change of career instead of playing the violin, what would you be doing? I used to study to become a midwife, and that would be wow. my next one. What do you find yourself doing most lately? Uh, swimming. I love swimming. Describe yourself in three words. Bubbly, joyful and helpful. What is your lifelong dream? To go abroad and perform abroad. What is something that has happened to you that positively changed you? Well, it, 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 it all started uh, my career, the Eurovision Song Contest. What is the bo last book you read? Fifty Shades of Grey, the three, <laughs> the three, three of them, I, I, I read them in three days, wow. so you can imagine. <laughs> Are you a budgeteer or a spender? Spender. What do you spend most money on? Clothes, shoes and handbags. <laughs> Who is your local and international favorite celebrity? Local Davide Tucci. And uh, uh, international. international, sorry, Lindsay Sterling, the violinist Lindsay Sterling, it's, she's my idol. How rebellious are you from 1 to 10? 10 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Sneakers or heels? Heels. Best advice you got from your mom? Don't, don't judge because you're being judged. What is something that you own and you truly cherish? My violin. Best school time memory? PE lessons. What is something you would never trust with anyone? My weaknesses. How do you distress? I played the violin. Describe us your favorite night out. <laughs> Going out and having fun, drinking, dancing, shouting, <laughs> etc. <laughs> Dream destination? With no doubt Maldives. What is the most adventurous thing you have ever done? I went to Etna Land, I went on the roller co coaster and I was going to be on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Five things that scare you. Cockroach. <laughs> money, to end up without <laughs> money. Uh, five things more. Uh, age, that I grew old. Health. 
and the other one and I end up with without a car because <laughs> my car is my life <laughs> what is the most worn item in your closet dress short dresses black what is your favorite feature my legs <laughs> what is your least favorite feature my tummy <laughs> <laughs> Favorite local fashion designer? Gaetano. If you could have one thing that would make life perfect at the moment, what would it be? <sighs> A huge bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't we all? <laughs> Normal. <laughs> what is your biggest achievement in your music career so far? As I said before, Eurovision. What is the hardest thing about being a musician here in Malta? I don't, I don't want to sound harsh, but uh, look, uh, they don't support a lot Maltese talent here in Malta. If you were to make a girl band, what would it be called? <laughs> <laughs> Bombshell! <laughs> Three local personalities we should all be following at the moment. Empty Lifestyle, <laughs> Ira Rosco, and myself. One life experience you would never want to go through again. The loss of my grandpa. Favorite alcoholic beverage. Vodka. <laughs> Favorite food to cure a hangover. Uh, English breakfast. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Silliest thing you have done when drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Telling the truth to everyone. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up regretting everything. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Dancing, playing the violin, buzzing. And happy. Yes. <laughs> if you could read someone's wardrobe, who would it be? Jennifer Lopez. Uh, what are two things that you cannot do? Drawing and talking on a microphone. One thing you would like to learn but haven't had the time yet? Playing the cello. Last thing you googled? <laughs> Weekend break. <laughs> Very true. What is your biggest regret? That I didn't take lessons to become a makeup artist. Instagram or Facebook? Facebook. What kind of new music do you normally listen to? Party music. I love buzzing. <laughs> if you're having a three-course dinner party at your house, what would you be cooking and who would you invite? My friends and my family. Well, I would cook for the starter, bruschetta. Um, <clears throat> starter, Mm. Fried goat cheese, main course meat, fillet, and for dessert cheesecake. In a moment of distress, who is the first person you call? Mom. A yeah. band or, or a musician you would like to play the violin with? Queen. On a deserted island and you can only have one person, who would it be? Difficult to choose. Only one. My mom. Oh. Apart from your keys, wallet and phone, what are two things you never leave home without? Makeup. <laughs> A phone, you, you mentioned it. Makeup. A mirror. Last movie that made you cry. I forgot, because I, I love to watch horror movies. Uh -huh, I'm not a romantic <laughs> person. So this one <laughs> wouldn't count. Last movie that made you cry with laughter. Three, six, five days. <laughs> Leather or lace? Lace. Favorite Disney character? Little Mermaid. What is one thing that people would be surprised to know about you? <laughs> I don't know, because I'm, I'm an open book. Very true. <laughs> Your one guilty pleasure? Pastizzi. Favorite quote to live by? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. 
If you could t spend three months anywhere in the world, where would it be? Maldives. Favorite swear word? F <laughs> if you could give yourself a nickname, what would it be? Mouse. What excites you most in life at the moment? Performing in front of an audience. What's the main target for 2020? Oh. Big show, big concert. What is one thing that irritates you a lot? People who doesn't understand you. What is something that didn't go as expected? COVID. One lesson you learned the hard way? That you have to appreciate what you have. What is the last TV show you binge watched? Vampire Diaries. Who is your role model? Lindsay Sterling. Are we going to see any new projects from Katie the Violinist this yes. year? Yes. You have to wait and see. Wow. So, Katie, we reached the 73. Yay. <laughs> last one. A message to all your followers. Thank you for following me. Always believe in yourself and never give up. So, those were the 73 questions. Thank you. You've done really well. Now, you have one bonus question. Are you following MTR TV on social media? Yes, I am. Bonus. <laughs>